Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Hope you're doing alright. Hope your day has been great. How's your no code development going? Hope it's solid and getting better every day. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to connect pages on Flutterflow. How do you connect pages? How do you send data from one page to another one on Flutterflow? That's what I want to say to you. How do you connect one page and connect it to the other one on Flutterflow? So if you're connecting, that means you're sending data from one page to another one. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how you can do this seamlessly with Flutterflow. So first thing first, one thing that you have to know is that Flutterflow uses the newest UI database and so there is no, there is no, the kind of relationship that you find in uh, languages like MySQL almost does not exist in, um, does not exist in, uh, um, in no SQL database. So normally for, for a database like MySQL, you're definitely going to have relationship, you're going to have primary key, you're going to have secondary key and the rest. But for, for no SQL database, you don't have all of that. All you have to do is to create reference. That's what you're doing. You're creating document reference between two, two, two documents. So you can reference anything to anything and that works really great. So let's just show you briefly Okay, let's learn briefly how you connect things together. So um, let's say let's say it this way that I want to. So let's go to the home page. So this is the home page. Um, let's say that you really want to send data from one page to another one when um, a person clicks a button. Let's look for a. Let's look for a a a screen that would. Enable someone to click a button. Let's look for a screen, car driving. Okay, let's say profile page. Um, let's see something else. Okay, I'm gonna open another, okay, I'm gonna open another application. Okay, I'm going to open another application where I think it's going to be a whole lot better to show you how to send detail from one page to another one. Okay, this is this is another application. This is a real estate application. I think this is a whole lot more suitable for sending uh, data from one page to another one. So let's say that a user will click one of this, one of this card. So normally this is going to be a repeating card. This is going to be a card that repeats. It's going to be inside the list. As you can see, this is inside the list view. And then the other cards are repeating inside of the list view. So let's say you want users to be able to click one of those cards. And when they click, the, when they click this particular card, they go to another page. So what you want to do is to click the card you want them to, to click on the card you want them to click. Then go to your, this arrow, the action button. So when you get to the action button, what you want to do is to, what you want to do is to define the parameter. So what you're sending, you're sending a reference. So when you send a reference from one page to another, um, a flutter flow is able to know what you're referencing. So this time we're referencing a property. And then if we click on this, like add properties. So you're gonna say, what's this reference gonna be like? So let's just call it item. It's fine, you can call it anything you wanna call call it, but just call it something that you can remember. So the item is gonna be what? What's this item type gonna be? Is it gonna be a document reference? Yes, it's gonna be a document reference because you're sending data from one page to another one. It could be a string, it could be an integer. But when you're sending one data type to another, from one page to another one, you just use a document reference. And it's gonna ask you, what's the, what type of collection is that? So if you were sending a, a user, you say a user, if you're sending a payment, uh, a booking, you say a booking, but this time you're sending a property. So this is gonna be like property, and you simply say confirm. And once you click confirm, it takes you back to the other screen, immediately you, you click confirm, and then now you have to pass. So you see, first you need to create the parameter, that's the first thing first, and secondly, after creating the parameter, you need to pass that parameter. So remember, remember I told you that this is a list. And like you can see here, this is a list of property. That's what it is, a list of property. That's what it is. So if you're passing any, any parameter, you have to be passing a property. And you're not passing the property name. 
you're practicing the property reference. That's what you're passing. This one. That's what you're passing. So it's just see this way. When you pass in the ref and a person clicks that link, that, that particular property and goes to the detail page, uh, Flutterflow sends the ref from the from the first page from the from the home page to the property details page and it retains all the values. So you are able to fetch all the values that that particular reference is holding. So that's basically how you send stuff from one page to another. Uh, it might be a bit complex, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Just understand that with relational with with um, no SQL database, you can send data from any page to another page. So we can send data from one page to another one. So we can say that when we get to the property details page, we want to send data to another one. We want to send data back. So we can send data back and you can send it forth. So if this is the property details page, so we can say when the user click on book now, when the user click on book now, this particular button called book now, you can you can ask them to you, the part of it could be send data from book now to another page definitely if your person is booking you're going to send things like the name of the property you're going to send things like the owner of the property you're going to send things like the price you know stuff like that you'd have to send those type of stuff like price and all that you have to send those type of stuff to the next page so that users can actually get more information on you also you can get the pricing that is required for you to book a particular property. So that's the way it works. That's how you send data from one Flutterflow page to another to the other. If you have questions, do remember to leave a comment and I'll do well to answer you. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to, to subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when I create a new video. And if you're looking for if you're looking for a Flutterflow developer, feel free to reach out to me and my team. We'll definitely design something very amazing for you if you want if you're ha having trouble with your app you want to you want to you know ask some questions feel free to click on the links below you'll be able to reach reach uh, you'll be able to reach out to our team and we'll definitely do well to answer you thank you so much for watching this episode i'll see you in the next lesson i'm pretty sure we're going to be talking about something very useful in very useful to your flutter flow journey thank you so much for watching again